Yeah, definitely. Um, playing Davis Cups, you know, one of the funnest things and, you know, one of my favourite things to do during the year as well. And every time you get that opportunity to play with such a good group of guys, it's obviously something mm -hmm. you can't turn down and I'm really looking forward to this week. Well, obviously we've had really bad weather. That hasn't helped. Um, and the court's uh, dead and flat, unfortunately. So we're hoping that we can, over the next couple of days, we can get a bit of speed back into it, a bit of bounce. Um, but in saying that, our boys will have to play with whatever we got. Um, but we were hoping for a harder, faster court. And, and due to some circumstances, I think it's probably fair to say that that's impacted a little bit um, on how we want it. So, but we just need some good weather over the next few days. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we wouldn't have put it on grass if we didn't think it gave us an edge. They didn't put us on grass when we went over there. They made it pretty clear they didn't want to put us on clay. So the same thing applies for us. We, we think our best chance, chance is on, clay and on grass, and uh, it's definitely a lot better opportunity for us to beat them on grass than what is on clay. So I'm very confident of our, of our team. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, it was a great effort last year to to do it um, you know, against Poland you know, away. So it gave us a good opportunity to, to be back in the world group at the start of this year. And obviously we came into probably the one of the best nations in France and had to play them on a slow clay court there. So you know, they're, they're one of the top couple of nations going around at the moment with their depth. So for us, it's about regrouping and, and consistently uh, putting ourselves in a position to be in the world group year after year. And, and hopefully we can you know, get enough wins up that we can start getting seeded and get a few better draws. Oh well, it's the uh, it's the pinnacle of you know our team competition. We we only come together you know two, three, perhaps four times a year, and uh, you know for me Davis Cups meant so much and and been such a big part of my career. And um, you know it's just <clears throat> it's a lot of fun to see you know these younger guys now new f new faces taking the next step you know in Australian tennis as well. And uh, you know I'm just fortunate that I can still be a part of it. Well, it's nice. Um I think in the past we were, as Australians, we were very loyal to you know representing your country. It seems to be a a thing around the world where they find it hard to get the people to represent their country. It's not just tennis; it's all sports. And um, and our team is the first guys they want to put their hand up to play. And uh, it's it's good. We you know we need, we're trying to create a really fun atmosphere for the guys. It's, I know it's, it's tough on them. They've just come off the U.S. Open, or they come off after. You know, it could be Wimbledon or Aussie Open. So there's never a really great time to fit Davis Cup in amongst your whole schedule. But once you start making it a priority and making it fun, and um, well, I mean make it a priority, and then we try to make it fun on the and you see the competitiveness of it and the enjoyment you get from when you win. And it's also very heartbreaking when you lose. You know, you're not playing for yourself, you're playing for your teammates and your country. It's a different feeling. I think these guys are starting to understand that and respect that. And um, it's an important part for their development. I think also they get to work with, I think, one of the greatest coaches, you know, in, uh, been around for the last sort of 30, 40 years, and Tony Roach. And you don't get that opportunity very often. And these guys, uh, they appreciate that. And um, I think it's really important that um, we try to keep the Davis Cup spirit alive. It's important, and it's important for Australians. Yeah, I think the Davis Cup gets tougher and tougher each year, though. You know, you look at some of the the smaller uh, Eastern European nations and, uh, you know, they've got you know, a couple of good players that can really push them through and, and put them in the top 16 nations in the world. So it's not that easy to keep getting back and giving yourself an opportunity to win the Davis Cup in the world group. So, you know, a lot depends on home and away ties as well and <clears throat> and uh, the surfaces that you choose. But I think, you know, it's good, obviously, to, to have the young boys coming up now and um, be able to match it, you know, on the big stage against the better players.